Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV at the Asprey. I'm Andy Proudman and it's time for Go Low. What do we have, Pierce? Today, Andy, right, we've got an extreme awkward lie with a pitch shot. That's Sounds gonna be good. pretty tricky, and I think you're gonna be playing it as oh, well right. again. Yes. <laughs> Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so it's time for Go Low. This is where we answer questions on your game to help you go low. Yes, make sure you get involved in this week's topic. Go to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter today and post your questions. Absolutely, using the hashtag Go Low. Right, also as well, guys, if you haven't already seen our seven-day free trial at meandmygolf.com, hundreds of videos there. Go and have a look, please, um, and give us your feedback. Right, today, Andy, we, the, the topic we posted was about awkward lies. and. And we, we kind of had, we had a lot of questions on, a lot of uh, requests on this. And we had a few people talking about short shots with ball above yes. and how this can affect it. They've heard that the loft on the club on a short iron, it, it, it's, it, it makes, it, it changes the way that we've got to play these shots, Definitely. maybe more than it would do with a longer iron, for yeah. instance. So we thought, well, okay, let's do this. So there's, there's too many to mention, uh, but thanks for your feedback on that, obviously, your, your, your questions. Now... Andy, what situation have we got here? Okay, so we're, we're on the 10th hole at the Asprey. We've got 45 yards to the flag. Uh, we've got the ball severely above the feet. I've got my sand wedge. Um, it's a tricky shot, it is. to say the least. Absolutely. So I think whenever Good we've luck. got a ball above the feet, normally with a long iron shot, it's, it's a little bit different. We're going to see more spin. We're not really going to see much spin in terms of curvature in the air on this, but where we aim is going to be crucial. And this is the reason why. Now, whenever I've got, whenever I've got a lot of loft on the club, and I've got a severe ball above the feet. As soon as I bring the club up in the air, notice the loft now is pointing way left of the target, okay? So you can see the loft has a massive influence on the direction the ball's gonna go. The lower the loft, the less that's gonna point Absolutely. to the left. Absolutely, sorry, yeah, Andy, I mean, if that was a three iron, it wouldn't be pointing anywhere near as far to the left, would it? Exactly, so the more loft, the more that's gonna point to the left, so you need to bear that in mind. So as I lower the club down now to the ground, the ball is still above the feet, Okay, but it's obviously less severe than that. Now the ball here, or the club should I say, the loft now is pointing probably 10 to 15 yards to the left of the target, okay? So that club straight away, this ball is going to go left straight away. Yep. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna position my body to the right, 10 to 15 yards to the right of that target, and now my loft is pointing at the flag. So my body's aiming right, but because the, the club is raised, the loft is pointing at the target. So straight away there now, Rather than just the, the leading edge, it's the loft you've got to think yeah. about, and that's the key thing. So you're effectively pulling the ball onto the target exactly. with a closed face. So the face is coming in, and pointing left. So it's just going to pull the golf ball, pretty much straight ball flight, towards the target. And, and obviously he's in the bunk here as well, so you're going to have to. You probably do a little bit of work with grip again. Yeah, definitely. Grip I'm going to grip it down a little bit. I'm going to make sure my balance is right. And you know, it's. A, I think I remember um, a couple of months back, Bill Haas won a tournament. He did. And he yeah. Played a, he played a, a shot that was actually more above the feet on this with water one, on the it? left and managed to get it in play. So yeah. um, how he pulled that off in that situation. Got up and uh, down from there to win, didn't he? All right, let's, let's just watch you play one because this okay. is, I mean, I'm excited to watch him play this because this is a tough one. So I'm aiming at that tree to the right of the green. Balance is key. See if we can maintain posture. And that has just gone. And even that one's gone a little bit left, hasn't it? But it's still only probably 25 feet. Yeah, do you know what? I, that actually went more to the left than I thought it would. Yeah. So I could have aimed that even further right if I wanted to there. But it just shows straight away that I was aiming at that tree over there now and that ball still finished, what, 12 feet? It, it, I mean, how often do we have a shot like this? It's very rare we get a shot like this, but it, it's, it's good to know exactly what to do. So a good thing to do, get on the golf course, play a few holes by yourself, find this situation and give it a go yourself. Put a sand wedge in there and see how much that ball actually wants to go left of where you're aiming. Do you know what? If you have a 10-yard shot, a 15 or 20-yard shot, it's still going to react the same. Exactly so you same. need to put that into your plan when you're playing these shots. Okay, sounds good. Not a bad effort, Andy. Not a bad. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video there, guys. Make sure you post your comments or questions below. And also check out the Masters tomorrow. First day exciting. Let's yes, see if the players on. are faced with any of those shots. Also, if you're not already a subscriber already, make sure you click the button below. Subscribe to the channel for videos every single week. Absolutely. Now, there's no better time of year to get involved in fantasy sports. If you haven't heard of DraftKings already, go and check out our friends at DraftKings. Tell them that me and my golf sent you. Use the promo code MYGOLF and get involved. And maybe you can get something to do with the Masters. Yes. Guys, see you soon. Cheers.